Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the second moment of area in a little bit more detail. First of all, we have to realize that there's quite a few aliases, quite a few other ways in which that is called. We can also name it the moment of inertia of a plane area. It's called the area moment of inertia. It's also been called the second area moment. All of those mean the same thing. It's the second moment of area. Mathematically, if we calculate the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis, it is a double integral of the distance from an area element to the x-axis. And yeah, this should be the x-axis and this is the y-axis right there. So it's the distance from an area element to the x-axis squared times the area element and then integrated over the entire area. So this is definitely related to an area. It's called the second moment of that area. The definition of it is as follows. It is a measure of the resistance to torsion caused by an applied moment. So when we try to apply a moment to an object like this, it is the resistance to the torsion, to the change of the shape of that object. And it is used to calculate the amount of stress on a beam caused by an applied moment. So here we have an applied moment. We can see that the beam is trying to get twisted around, that's called torsion, and it's the resistance to that torsion that is a measure of that second moment of area. So in this case, we can call the second moment of area the torsional constant. However, there's other applications. So sometimes what we do here is we calculate the second area of moment of an area that's displaced from the axis. And you can see that mathematically we can find the second moment of area with respect to the x-axis or the second moment of area with respect to the y-axis. What's most use useful sometimes is to do it relative to the origin right here. So we have the distance relative to the origin and then we can say that the second moment of area relative to origin is equal to the double integral of that distance squared r squared times dA and of course you can see that r squared equals the sum of x squared plus y squared so that's how you then find that integral and we'll show you some examples of that. Now if you take that area and you place it right on the origin in such a way that the centroid of the area is at the origin that is when we calculate the second order, uh, second moment of area and that's when you get that measure of the torsional constant which is then used to find the resistance of the beam to a moment trying to cause it to twist. So this is why we need that and why we use it and that is how we calculate it.